In the last section, we looked at an orthogonal projection of a vector onto a line, a one-dimensional space. We want to now extend that idea to an orthogonal projection of a vector onto some general subspace in Rn. You know, so some w that could be two, three, four-dimensional, or even higher. Let's begin with a picture. Say we have some subspace w of Rn and some vector y that we'd like to project onto w. We look for a vector y hat that is the unique vector in a w closest to our original vector y. And when we take the error y minus y hat, that error is orthogonal to the entire subspace w. This unique vector y hat is called the orthogonal projection of y onto w and is denoted projection sub w of y. Our goal for today is going to be to determine how we find that orthogonal projection. We begin with an orthogonal basis for our subspace. So a set of vectors that is not only a basis, but each of the vectors in the set are orthogonal. Then our orthogonal projection onto w y hat is given by y dot q1 over q1 dot q1 times q1 sum up to y dot qp over qp dot qp times qp. That is, we find the projection of our vector y onto each of the basis vectors from our orthogonal basis, and then we add the results. Let's take a look at an example. Let y be the vector 2, 3, 4. Find the orthogonal projection of y onto w, which is the xy plane in R3. First, we need a basis for w that is orthogonal. Let's begin with our typical basis for the xy plane, which would be E1 and E2. And notice that those vectors are orthogonal. If I took their dot product, it would be zero. So we have an orthogonal basis already, and we're good to go. We'll now get the orthogonal projection y hat by taking y dotted with the first basis vector, 1, 0, 0, over the first basis vector dotted with itself. That's just a scalar. This whole scalar multiplies the first basis vector. And then we add to that y dot e2 over e2 dot e2 times the second basis vector. The dot products we get here are equal to 2, 1, 3, and 1, so that our orthogonal projection y hat is the vector 2, 3, 0. And Notice that that makes sense geometrically. We're looking at a picture in R3. We begin with a vector y, which is 2, 3, 4. And then we want to project it onto the xy plane. And we find that the projection is just the vector 2, 3, 0, which lives in the xy plane and pretty clearly is the shadow of our vector y on the xy plane, or the vector in the plane closest to our original vector. 